Hi friends, in the previous video we had studied how to solve a quadratic equation by the method of factorization. Right? We just to remind you that we had completed that, we had done a few problems also on that. Now we have to move on. The second, as I have told already, the second method of solving a quadratic equation is known as the method of completing the squares, completing of squares method. That is another method by which we can solve a quadratic equation, the, which is now removed from the examination, coming examination of June 2021. So I am not going to do it. I am moving to further. The third method is what we call solving a quadratic equation by the formula method formula method here we use a formula to find the roots of a quadratic equation if if ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation in x is a quadratic equation in x then its roots are given by the formula x is equal to minus b minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is called this is the formula for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. Now this can be used and we can find the, the roots of a quadratic equation. Now in the examination if they have given you do it by this method then you are supposed to do it by that method only. If the in the question if they don't say specifically you use this method or that method then we can do it by any method. And as long as the method is correct, we get the same answer for the for one problem. We don't get different answers in, from, in different methods. We get the same answer provided we do it correctly. So this is the formula. You are supposed to remember this formula and apply it and get the roots. Now let us take up some problems on this. We shall take up some problems on this. <clears throat> From your textbook, I am taking problems. From the expert exercise number ten point three. Find the roots of the quadratic equation if they exist by the method of oh, that is by completing the square root uh, the square method. Ah. Find the nature of the roots. Find the roots. No, no, the problem is like this. Now we will take up the same problems which we did earlier, they have not given here. Now, I will take up the same problems which we had done by the method of factorization, these problems. The first problem that we did was this x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. This was the first problem that we did in the factorization method. Now we will do the same thing by formula method also. Now in this equation the value of a is 1 that is coefficient of x square is 1. b is minus 3 and c is 
minus 10. This is 1. A is 1. B is minus 3. And C is minus 10. Right? You write them like that. Then, x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. That is, you write this formula. This formula you write. Then substitute in this. Minus of minus 3. Minus of b. That is, minus of minus 3. Plus or minus square root of b square minus 3 square minus 3 whole square minus 4 ac so 4 into 1 into c is c is minus 10 so this divided by 2 into 1 so x will be equal to minus of minus 3 means that is plus 3 plus or minus plus or minus square root of minus 3 square will be plus 9 minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9 here minus into minus that will be plus 4 into 1 is 4 4 into 10 is 40 divided by 2 into 1 so it will be 3 plus or minus root of 7 divided by 2 that is that is equal to once not, not root of 7 it should be 7 right it should be 7 root of 49 this 9 plus 40 is 49 so 3 plus or minus 7 square root of 49 is 7 so 3 plus 7 divided by 2 or 3 minus 7 divided by 2. That is x will be equal to 10 by 2, 10 by 2 or minus 4 by 2. That is x is equal to plus 5 or it is minus 2. These are the roots, plus 5 and minus 2. You compare, we had got the same answer there also in the method of factorization. Also, we had got the same answers. Okay. Now, this method is called as the formula method. We will do one more, one more problem. Uh, the next problem we can take is Two x square plus x minus six is equal to zero. This is the given problem. Find what is x. What is the value of x? That is, find the roots of this equation. So here, a is two, b is one, and c is minus six. These are the values of a, b and c. Again, you have to write the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then, minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square, that is 1 square minus 4 into a, a is 2 into c, c is minus 6 divided by 2 into 2. So that will be minus 1 plus or minus 1 square is 1 only, minus into minus plus 4 2 is 8, 8 6 is 48 divided by 4. So that is minus 1 plus or minus square root of 49 divided by 4. That is minus 1 plus 7 divided by 2 or minus 1 minus 7 
square root of 49 is 7. It can be either plus 7 or minus 7. So divided by square. Here it should be 4. 4. Here also it is 4. So x will be equal to here 7 minus 1 that is 6 by 4 or minus 1 minus 7 means it will be minus 8 divided by 4. So this will be 3 by 2. 2 6 are 3, 2 2 is 4 or minus 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 2 is 4, 2 4 1s are 4, 4 2 is 8. So minus 2. So these are the roots of the quadratic equation like that. Again, <coughs> they may give a problem in, in the form of a sentence and then you will have to uh, find the roots by using the formula method. Then what do you do? We have to do the same thing. First we have to, when, it is, when the problem is given in the form of a sentence, first we have to form the equation, bring it to the standard form, then apply the formula and do it. Now for example, I will take up, find two numbers, find two numbers, find two numbers whose sum is 27, whose sum is 27 and and product is product is 182 this is the problem you have to find those two numbers which give this now let us say the numbers one the, let the numbers be let the numbers be x and y we will take it as x and y we don't know them we will take the numbers as x and y then According to the first condition, x plus y, that is the sum of x and y, is 27. Therefore, y will be 27 minus x. If I transport that x that side, it is 27 minus x. Then the second condition is the product of those two numbers, that is x into y, is 182. 182. Now what I do? Here instead of y, I will put 27 minus x. The value of y, I will put in terms of x is equal to because I know that y is 27 minus x. So x into y. So x into 27 minus x is equal to 182. So you will get 27x minus x square is equal to 182 right 182 so now arranging them properly first is minus x square plus 27x minus 182 is equal to 0 now because the first term is negative what I do is I multiply the whole thing by minus 1 or I change the sign of all the numbers, all the quantities here. So it will be x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0. Right. This is the equation, given equation. This was given, the problem is given like this. I have written, I have made the quadratic equation. This is the standard quadratic equation. Now in that equation, the value of a is 1. A, value of A is 1, value of B is minus 27 and value of C is 182, C is 182, right. Now I have to find out the value of X. So X will be equal to minus B plus or minus, this is my formula, I will write this formula, minus B square, B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. So minus b means minus of minus 27 plus or minus b square 
minus 27 the whole square plus uh, no sorry minus minus 4 into a is 1 c is 182 divided by 2 into 1 so this becomes plus 27 minus of minus it becomes plus 27 next 27 square that is 27 into 27 7 7s are 49 7 2s are 14 18 2 7s are 50 2 7s are 14 2 2s are 4 plus 1 5 seven twenty nine seven twenty nine minus four into one is four four twos are eight four twos are eight four eights are thirty two four ones are four seven twenty eight this four into one into one twenty eight one eighty two will be seven twenty eight so it will be twenty uh, whole thing divided by two now this will be equal to 27 plus or minus root of 1. So 27 plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 or it will be 27 minus 1 divided by 2. So 27 plus 1 is 28. 28 by 2 is 14 or 27 minus 1 is 26. 26 by 2 is 30. So the three, two numbers are either 14 or 13. x is 13 or 14. So I got one, one of the values. If x is 14, then y will be, if x is 14, y we know is, if x is 14, x is equal to 14. y we know is uh, 27 minus x that is 27 minus 14 that is 13. If x is 13 y is 14 and if x is, thir uh, x is 13 then y will be again 27 minus 13 that is 14. So the two numbers are 13 and 14. You can see here, if you add 13 and 14, you get 27. If you multiply 13 and 14, 13 and 14 if you multiply, 4 3s are 12, right? the product is 182. Now, you can make a problem yourselves. You imagine two numbers, any two numbers add them, find their total sum and find their product, then uh, make a problem and then you make it into a problem and solve it yourselves. You can do any number of problems like that. Then you can, I will do a problem from a old question paper. I have two old question papers. The length of a rectangular field, the length of a rectangular field is three times its breadth. This is from a old 10th standard question paper of the board of secondary examination, KS, Karnataka State Examination Board. I have taken, I am taking a problem here for two marks. The length of a rectangular field, to draw a rough sketch, this is length and this is breadth. Now, the length of the <coughs> rectangular field is 3 times its breadth. Let us say the breadth is x, breadth is x, then length will be 3 times x and he says, the area of the field is, area is 147 square meters, 147 square meters. 
then find its length and breadth. So what is this? What is this? You have to find. You know, area of a rectangle is area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Right. Is equal to length into breadth. So A is equal to x is, this is 3x into x. Breadth is x. I have taken length, breadth is x. Then he says in the problem that the length is 3 times uh, the breadth, that means it will be 3x. So 3x into x. So 3x into x will be 3x square. 3x square is equal to 147. 147. So x square will be equal to 147 divided by 3. 3 fours are 12. 3 fours are 12. 3 nines are 27. So it is 49. x square is equal to 49. Or x square minus 49 is 0 x square minus 49 is 0. Now this can be written as x square minus 49 can be written as 7 square. 7 square. So that is equal to 0. That is equal to 0. 7 square is 49. 7 7 is 49. Now this is of the form a square minus b square. You know the factors of a square minus b square the factors of a square minus b square are a plus b into a minus b. So taking that, so the factors will be here, x plus 7 into x minus 7 is equal to 0. So x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now I am getting x is equal to minus 7 or x is equal to plus 7. Now breadth or length of anything cannot be negative this value is not possible so x is this is 7 7 meters why this is given as so many square meters so the, they will be in meters so x is that is breadth is breadth is breadth is equal to x we have taken it as x so that will be 7 meters now length is given as 3x, so 3 into 7, that is 21 meters. This is 21 meters. This is 21 meters. Now the area, you multiply those two, 21 into 7. You see 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. It is 147 square meters. If you multiply 21 by 7, you get 147. So this problem carries two marks. Now I'll take one more problem. I think this is also for two marks. No, this is for three marks. Again, this is of one question paper. Here he says, the altitude of a triangle is six centimeter more than its base. The altitude of a triangle is 6 centimeters more than its base. You have a triangle. This is a, any triangle. This is called its base. If you draw a uh, perpendicular here, this is called the altitude. This is called H. Now he says, the altitude of a triangle is 6 cm more than its base if its area is area is given as 108 square centimeters find the base and height now what i will do is let the base of the b x i will take the base as x centimeters let the base of the triangle the base of the triangle be x centimeters. Then the height or altitude, altitude of triangle will be equal to 
6 centimeters more means x plus 6. This will be, if I take this as x, this will be x plus 6. This height is x plus 6. Now the formula for area of a triangle is half base into altitude, half b, b into h. Now therefore, 108 one is equal to half into b is, I have taken it as x and h I have taken as x plus 6. This 2 if you send it this side, 108 into 2 is equal to x into x plus 6 that is x square plus 6x. Now x square plus 6x minus 216 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. You got the quadratic equation. Now what you have to do is you have to solve it. You can solve it by any method. Any method here they are not specified. You do it by this method or that method. You can do it by any method. So it will be a, I, if I am doing it by formula method a is 1, b is 6 and c is minus 216. So the formula for finding x is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. That is minus 6 plus root of b square 6 square minus 4 into 1 a is 1 into this is minus 216 c is minus 216 so this will be uh, this whole thing divided by 2 into 1 that is 2 2 into 1 now this comes to minus 6 plus or minus here yeah, plus or minus root of 6 square is 36 now this will be minus into minus it becomes plus 4 into this thing uh, 864 it will be 864 if you multiply this 4 into 2 16 will be 4 6 are 24 4 here 2 to carry uh, 4 1s are 4 4 plus 2 is 6 4 2s are 8 divided by 2 so this will be x will be equal to x will be equal to minus 6 plus or minus root of if you add these two you will get 900 864 plus 36 is 900 divided by 2 so it will be minus 6 plus or minus root of 9 is 3 there are two zeros here you will get 1 0 2 divided by 2 so x is equal to minus 6 plus 30 by 2 once you will take plus or it will be minus 6 minus 30 divided by 2 so this will be 30 minus 6 is 24 divided by 2 and this will be minus r it is uh, minus 36 divided by 2 so this is 12 or minus 18 now it cannot be negative what we are finding out x what is x we have taken it as the base the base of a triangle cannot be negative so it got, it has got to be positive so the answer the this is this is how much 12 centimeters x is 12 centimeters so altitude will be h will be equal to 18 centimeter now you see what is the area half into b into h half into 12 into 18 two ones are two two nines are 18 12 nines are 108 you got the area area is equal to 108 square centimeters that means you got three marks definitely you got three marks if you have got the correct answer right so i'll stop there still it is there quadratic equation is there i think we'll have to complete it in one more video
uh, you if you have any doubts you can call me and ask thank you